Hello, Carrots here. When I'm playing in Isla Paradiso, my mermaids have no scales or tails. And as you see them in the picture there, they swim, not like mermaids, but I do a sort of breaststroke. That's the four mermaids plus my own sim that are swimming around together. I've added the mermaids to my household. And you see they're diving without tails. There's three of them down here at the moment. My ocean just went straight back up to the top. There's Salty Seaworth. See, they do the spin, what they should be doing to get in and out of their tails, but they don't have the scales or the tails. And see, they've completely bare legs. Now, if you've got NRAS Master Controller, and I think you also need Master Controller Cheats module, you can fix this quite easily. But without the Master Controller mod, I don't know of any way of solving this problem. It doesn't mean there isn't a way to solve it, I just don't know about it. So this is how I fixed it, using the Master Controller from NRAS. And now Triton King's decided not to dive. So we'll concentrate on him. So I got him to go down, diving, and Master Controller, Intermediate, and then you remove occult and then you do master control intermediate and add occult and it's mermaid you've got to take mermaid away from them first and when you do that they get what is the default adult or uh, older than toddler anyway scales and that's the color of the male scales there are two ways to change the scale colour of a mermaid. If you control the mermaid, you can take them to a mirror. Now, not all mirrors work, but most do. When your mermaid clicks on the mirror, you get the option to change scale colours, and it takes you into polishing mermaid scales. But if you don't control the mermaid, and that is usually the case when you're dealing with the four that appear in Isla Paradiso, then you will need to use the mod, Master Controller with the Cheats module. You click on the sim and you choose NRAS, Master Controller, Basic, Change Scale Colour. Now I've discovered the correct scale colours by going into an old save of mine where my mermaids had their old sa scales. I was initially quite happy to have them with the default scales but after a while it gets a bit boring when all of the male mermaids have exactly the same coloured tails all the time. Oh, now I'm going to demonstrate changing the scale colours with Triton King. So this is giving him the scales that he was originally meant to have, the scale colours. usually initiate the scales operation on mermaids that I don't control while they are in the water as I did with Triton King. I find that works for me. I haven't had a fail yet by clicking on the mermaid while they're underwater like this. I tried to do it when they were swimming to change the scale colour. The mermaid reset. So as you can see there he is with his tail. The way to get to the tail on is to make them go to the surface and now he swims like a mermaid should. So if you want them in their tail, you just send them up to the surface and bring them down again. That's if you've got control of them. If you don't have control of them, just change their scales. They'll go up to the surface eventually and when they get up to the surface, they'll get into their tail and they'll be fine from then on for the rest of the game. But that's Triton King with the colours that he was meant to have. And now I'm about to show you his the numbers. So if you need to remember these numbers, write them down. As you can see, I've color coded them so you know where to put each set of numbers. On the left, I've got the default scale colors that all the male mermaids get when they are generated. As soon as they become a mermaid, that's the color scales they get. If you don't want all of your male mermaids to have exactly the same colored scales, well then you can take them into a mirror and change them. And if you want them to have the original scale colors, here they are here now, I'm giving them to you in this video. And there he is, underwater with his tail on, with his correct colors. And now that he's got his scales and his tail, he can swim like a mermaid. He's no longer doing that breaststroke type of swimming stroke. The problem, of course, with the mermaids is they want to swim everywhere.
there's Mia Azul. So there she is without her scales. And we take it into Master Controller and we go Intermediate. Remove Occult because she is a mermaid. That's got to be made false. And then you've got to go back in there. And RAS Master Controller. Intermediate. Add Occult. Mermaid. And now she'll get the default female scales. So if you don't change the scale colour, that all of your female mermaids will have this colour scales. Unless they're toddlers. If they're born in game, the girls will have pink scales and the boys will have orange scales. That's when they're toddlers. And you've got to change them if you want them different. And again, I've got the numbers that you will need to make her have the original Mia Azul scale colours. Of course, you're free to make them any colour you want or even keep them purple. This is just giving you the information. I searched for it for a long time before I thought about actually going through old games that I found backed up and from several years ago and I found one with the mermaids in it with the original scale colour so I took them in to change scale colour and wrote the numbers down. Now there's the numbers. Pause now if you want to write them down. I also got some assistance from Landlin who had got scale colours of her own from somewhere that she found on the internet. But her numbers are slightly different from mine and I suspect they may have been achieved. Whoever read them off might have read them from the tales or else there's two different versions of scale colours for different games. There's not very much difference, there's only just a few... This, if you put the mermaid side by side with my numbers and her numbers you wouldn't really notice the difference. So it doesn't really matter which numbers you use. I'm just using the ones that I got from my mermaids out of my game. If you like the purple, that's the default female and if you want the original colours for Mia Azul, that's the bottom group of numbers. And here she is swimming around with her legs with the correct scale colours. And she's looking at the coral and I got a bit of a surprise at this point because I wondered what could be so wonderful about the coral that she would look at it and get pink hearts. See? Pink hearts. What's that to do with coral? Oh, the game has generated a mermaid. See, all of the four default Isla Paradiso mermaids, I have got them in my household so I could control them to make this video. And this guy turned up. Now look, he's got the default male scales and it's a beautiful colour. I used to actually love having that colour on my males but when they all have got it all of the time I decided I'd do some research and get the original colours because any new mermaids that turn up will have these colours anyway so you're not going to miss out on them and there's not much difference to my mind between her scales and his scales by the look of it the colours look very similar. They're not the same but they're very similar when she gets her tail, she's got that like that bl pale blue around her knees. That is the colour of most of her tail. She's just got a little bit of green bit up top. This new mermaid was freshly generated by the game. I was surprised that he had scales at all because he was generated in Isla Paradiso. So now I've decided to change his colours just so we can see how the different of the four colours, how they affect the actual tail. Given him black, white, red and green are the colours I've chosen and then we'll look at him with his tail and just see how those colours are distributed in his tail and that will help me at least when I am making up mermaid tails. I'll know what I want the main colour to be so I know which spot to put it and I will know which colours I want to ripple through the tail and which colours I just want there in tiny patches. So that's on the left is his default male colour and you've got the numbers there. If you pause now you'll be able to write them down and on the right I'd go for him black, white, red and green scales. And this is him now with his tail on. We'll see him underwater which is the best way to see the tail and as you can see from there he's got mostly a white tail. Get a bit of dive so we can have a good look at his tail. The red is at the very bottom of his tail and the green which was the final colour we did is one that's going all through it and the black is just at the top of his fin, the, f the flipper part at the bottom that's where you can see the black. So I thought that is useful information for me if I want to control how the colours are distributed in the tail. And so here he is in Stylist. That's the only place you can see the tail and this is where you could change the, the tail colour. Now here is the new scale colours or the original scale colours for Maya Ocean and 
Salty Seaworth. So you'd need to pause to get those numbers. Now we'll just have a little look at them swimming around with their new tails on. So if you'd like the mermaids to have the original tail colours, you've got the information to do it now in this video. And if you just want them to have the tail colours that sc scales that you that they get by default, well that's fine. You now know how to get their scales on to replace the bare legs. Somebody said that they had a mermaid turn up in Isla Paradiso. It wasn't one of these four and it had bare legs as well. So I don't know why my mermaid turned up with scales and a tail. The only thing I can think of is I had taken all four of these mermaids out of the service pool and put them into the household. I know in other worlds where I've built dive lots such as sunlit tides and a few custom made worlds I get mermaids get generated by the game and they've always got a tail when they turn up in the dive lot with my other mermaids. So maybe if there's no mermaids in the service pool the game has to generate them fresh and that's when they get the tail and scales applied to them. I don't know. But if your mermaids don't have scales, well then now you know how to get them on there. And you need Master Controller and our Master Controller Cheats module to do it. They're available at NRAS. N-R-A-A-S. Well, thank you for watching. I do hope you found this helpful. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now. And happy simming.